Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, Komodo, Webroot. So any antivirus, third party antivirus if you're using, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then open Windows setting, go to privacy and security, and then click on Windows security. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage your ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps. And then go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game installed in this location. So go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel. System and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to Verify the game file. This is important. So go to Steam, make a right click in the game, select properties. Go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to turn off or turn on VPN. So if you're using VPN, you can turn it off. You can close VPN and then check. If you're not using it, you can use one. You can turn it on and then check. Check which one is working fine for you. Next step is to enable .NET Framework. Now for this, you can type in turn Windows feature on or off in the Windows search box and then click on turn Windows feature on or off. Over here, make sure .NET Framework 3.5 and .NET Framework 4.8 both are checked over here and then click on OK. Install it, restart the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to go to this location and delete this broken arrow folder but create a backup first now for this uh, you can just open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items open app data folder open local low folder over here you can still open this steel folder here you can see broken arrow folder you can create a backup copy this folder Maybe paste you to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can you can rename this folder or you can even delete it. So either you can rename it or you can simply delete it and then you can launch the game and then check. You already have an original folder. So if you face any problem, you can put it back. Now, the next step is to disable vjoy so if you're using vjoy, you can disable it. If you have any kind of virtual controller software installed, Try to disable it and then check it. Disconnect peripheral. So if you have any external devices which you're not using, so if you have OTAS, wheel, flight stick, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. If you have multiple monitor setup, try launching the game on single monitor. Turn off or you can close all the third party application or services running. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Also, do not overclock. If you have overclocked your computer, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application, like if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Tuner, any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the general tab and turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. So if this is on, you can turn it off. If you have any other overlay application like Discord running, you can go to Discord settings, turn off overlay, go to Nvidia app, and you can go to settings and turn off NVIDIA app, NVIDIA overlay. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, you can type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options. Over here, you will see power saver. In my case, it's only balanced. So you will see uh, something like this you will see power saver over here so select power saver launch the game and then check you can even try balanced you can even try high performance check which one is working fine for you so first of all try power saver and then check if that does not work 
you can install this uh, Intel Extreme Tuning Utility Software. You can search in Google, install it, and then you can launch it and lower down performance score ratio. Now, if you can, once you install this Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, here you can see performance score ratio. If this is set to like 58x or 57x, you can try 55x, maybe 54x, maybe 53x, and then once you lower down, hit apply, and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. By default, Express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next. And then you will see this screen. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now, for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, select the game exe file, then click on add. Once the game is added, click on the game over here and over here, select high performance. You, you will see your graphic card. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to I run the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from here, make a right click, manage, browse local files, and then make a double click over here. Try launching the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, and then go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then make a double click, launch the game, and then check. Still not working. In that case, you can put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties, in the launch option, type in dash DX11, launch the game, and then check. Now, if that does not work, you can even try dash DX12, launch the game, and then check. Still not working, you can remove this, empty it, and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important, so open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update and Security, and then click on Check for Update. You will see Check for Update option. Once all the updates are installed, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, install these Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64 version. So download this x86. Run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well. And then run this file. Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. And let the installation complete. Make sure both the files are installed. Once installed, restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then 
select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery in computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then install the game's C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive or any external drive, Try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.